Before going any further, let's explore the ChatGPT user interface. Sometimes, I find it surprising that this powerful tool has such a simple user interface. Like Leonardo da Vinci says, Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. It is a very simple user interface, but it is too sophisticated under the hood. It is the largest deep neural network that has ever been created so far. On the user interface, at the very beginning, you can see the application's title, that is ChatGPT. After that, it suggests some examples of how to use it. After that, a quick suggestion on its capability. And finally, the limitations. This is a set of suggestions that can help us to learn more about ChatGPT. On the left hand side, you can see the conversation history and user control panel. Whenever we interact with ChatGPT, it saves the conversation, which can be accessed anytime from here. That means you don't need to rewrite the question once you get the correct response. Here you can see my previous conversation history. It's a very useful feature, isn't it? If your interface has too many conversations, you can clear the conversations by clicking this option. If you confirm clear conversation, the history will be gone. After that, we have the Upgrade to Plus option. We're using the free version now. There are some limitations to the free version. For example, sometimes you will see that the ChatGPT interface is busy and you cannot use it. You have to wait for some time if it happens. In the paid version, there is no such limitation. The standard free version is slower than the paid version, and most importantly, ChatGPT developers frequently add new features, which are not always available to the free users. To upgrade the ChatGPT Plus package, simply click this Upgrade Plan button, and you will be redirected to a payment page. Provide the necessary information and complete the payment to upgrade from free to paid version. Let's get back to the ChatGPT user interface again. The next option is the dark mode option. I genuinely like this feature. ChatGPT has become one of my best assistants. I use it all the time. When it is daylight around, this interface is fine. However, at night without any ambient light, this white interface hurts the eyes. If we click on this dark mode, instantly everything becomes dark. It is very comfortable to use at night. Let's get back to the previous mode by clicking on it again. As I mentioned before, ChatGPT is frequently updated. You can see the updated information here. If you want to know about the updates and the frequently asked questions about ChatGPT, there is an option for you here. Let's go back to ChatGPT user interface again. The last option we have is log out option. You will be logged out of the system if you click on it. However, don't worry, you can always log in using your email and password. I guess it is a relatively boring lesson because we didn't explore the remarkable capabilities of ChatGPT. Instead, we've been roaming around the user interface only. Let's move on to the next lesson and I promise you won't be disappointed. So, let's keep things rolling and I'll see you in the next lesson.